this is our Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus review and you will notice it's not as long as the Galaxy S8 and that's because, well, they're essentially the same phone. This is just a little bit bigger. So if you're looking for things like camera, user interface, Bixby, God damn it, well, you can just check out the Samsung Galaxy S8 review here and find out all about that. But in this review, we're gonna check out the differences. What do you get for spending that extra money on the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus that you don't get with the Galaxy S8? The obvious thing that comes with the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus is the huge size. Yes, it's massive, but it doesn't feel as big as it looks, if that makes any sense. The slim design and the curved edges actually make it feel that much more compact, even though this is a really tall and really large phone. In fact, I didn't even notice the added size, with the fact that the screen is taller making it less cumbersome in the pocket. I mean, compare that to the iPhone 7 Plus with a much smaller screen, and the difference in what you're getting feels massive. That means you're much more likely to pick the phone up from the middle rather than the bottom as you might a smaller phone, which makes it much easier to use the fingerprint scanner. On the S8, I completely stopped using the iris and facial recognition as the fingerprint read on the back was that much more accurate, but holding it didn't make touching the right place easy. On the Plus, picking it up differently, the hand falls in a much more natural place. The screen is also so fitted in here that it's almost untrue. Sure, that was the same with the S8 and the pixel count isn't any higher, but on the Plus it just looks so much more immersive and impressive. The Super AMOLED screen that Samsung offers also offsets the sharpness degradation. The brighter scenes and great colors still look absolutely pin sharp on the display, and the large size in the hands just makes watching movies or playing games a superb experience. The Galaxy S8 had good enough battery life. It wasn't amazing, but it wasn't terrible. But with the S8 Plus, this thing will just go and go and go. I'm talking easily most of the way through the day until hitting 50% and loads left by the time night rolls around. And that's from a power pack that's only 3,500 milliamp hours, which isn't the biggest we've seen. As you've seen in previous videos, this thing was the best performing flagship we've ever had in our battery test. And that certainly comes through every day. If I was going to buy a phone right now, it would be the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, if I had the money, of course, because ultimately this is the phone that does everything the Galaxy S8 does, but better. The battery life is so much more improved. The screen is that much more immersive and feels just more rich. And given that's the best thing about the S8, that's a good upgrade. The only thing is this is one of the most expensive phones on the market right now, but it feels like it deserves every single penny they're going to be spending on the phone. The battery life is so much better, the screen's so much more immersive, and even the fingerprint scanner is in the right place given the way you hold this phone. So if you can afford it, this is the phone that you should be looking to buy right now. And as ever, we love to see what you're thinking about these phones too, so let us know in the comments below. Thank you for liking, thank you for subscribing, and we're Tech Radar, and we love phones as much as you do.